Hey guys, my name's Jamin. This is my channel, PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of do-it-yourself computer upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 onto a Dell computer. A couple of things before we begin, guys. First, please remember to like, share, subscribe if this video is helpful. If you want to support the channel a little further, super thanks is always appreciated. Second, a quick shout out to my sponsor, NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused power online to people who mine cryptocurrency and you get paid for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to earn some side money with no work. It's a great way to start investigating the world of crypto. You can check out this link for more information or I'll add a little bit more at the end of the video. So to get into the project guys, I'm going to be using this install media USB to install Windows 11 onto my Dell computer. This is with the assumption that the Dell does not currently have a functioning operating system on it. Uh, if you do have a functioning operating system, Windows 8, Windows 10, whatever, and you want to upgrade to Windows 11, check out this video link here. It's a lot easier than having to use a USB. You simply go online and update to Windows 11. But I'm going to be using this, assuming again I don't have a functioning operating system. You guys can either purchase this, there'll be a link here uh, to my Amazon store where I keep all of my uh, supplies and tools I use, and you'll see an example of the right item to buy. Or if you want to create this yourself for free, I'll have a video link up here as well uh, showing you how to do that. Uh, but for now, I'm going to insert this into my Dell and get started installing Windows 11. All right, guys, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my USB into the computer. I'm going to hit power and start tapping on F12 right away. So you'll get a screen that looks like this. Uh, keep in mind there are a lot of different BIOS versions out there. Your screen may not look exactly like this. Your BIOS may not be the exact same one, but I'll show you what information you have to find. Over here on the left, your boot options. These are different options for your computer to boot from. You see the boot manager, your hard drive, um, and there's our USB. So that's what you're looking for. Your USB, we want to boot off that. So use your mouse, use your arrow keys, sometimes your tab keys. Um, if, if your keyboard and your mouse is not working, try using an external mouse, um, but move down to the USB and hit enter. And the computer will continue to boot up, hopefully booting up from your USB and therefore accessing that install media. This is the first screen you'll see in the install process. I'm going to take you through the options that I would choose. Keep in mind your options may be different depending on where you are or what you want for settings. Um, but my language is English, US, I'm just going to hit next. And again, if your mouse and keyboard aren't working, try using an external mouse or an external keyboard that plug into a USB. Oftentimes that will work here if your computer's not working yet. So I'm going to hit next. Install now. I'm going to click on that. And it's off. So this is just asking to uh, accept some terms and conditions. Another thing I want to mention real quick, guys, make sure your computer is plugged in through this process. If your computer is unplugged and the battery runs out, your computer loses power and it shuts off during this install or during updates or resets or whatever, it could damage the operating system. You'll have to start all over again. Um, so make sure your computer is plugged in through this. So I just clicked the checkbox to accept the TNCs. I'm going to hit next. Um, custom windows install this upgrade windows and keep files. Um, a lot of you will be choosing this. This is where you don't want to delete all your data. You just want to install a new operating system. Uh, I'm going to do the, the custom install. I want to delete everything because this is a refurb computer. I, I, I actually prefer deleting everything and having it be new. So keep in mind, again, your options may differ from mine. So I'm going to click this bottom one, custom install. And again, because I'm deleting all the data, I'm going to delete all these partitions with various amounts of data on it. Um, you would save these if you wanted to save your data, but uh, for a refurb computer or if you're selling your computer, I'm going to go through these one at a time and delete all of them. Okay, so after deleting all, all my partitions, again, if it's a refurb or whatever, um, I'm left with unallocated space, roughly the size of my hard drive, and that's what I want. That's where I want to install Windows 11. So I'll click on that and I'll hit next. So this may take a while, guys. Um, I'm going to come back when it's all done. Um, maybe I'll fast forward through it for you. Um, but this may take a while. At the end, there'll be some more options that I'll walk you through. Okay. 
As you saw there guys, the computer may need to restart sometimes. You can click on the button to restart it now or you can just wait uh, for the timer to run out and, and it will restart on its own. For more accessibility features, press Windows plus U or select the accessibility icon. Okay, so you'll hear her start talking. You can shut that off um, by that button down there, the volume button, or you can um, voice prompt your way through, say yes, say no. Uh, to various things but at this point guys make sure you unplug your USB here um, if your computer needs to restart after this there's a chance that it could see your install media USB again and then start the install process over so um, make sure your install media is out uh, so again here I'm, I'm gonna choose United States choose whatever you need to choose I'm gonna hit yes uh, it asks me if, if my keyboard layout is correct I'm gonna say yes um, it wants to know if I want to add a second keyboard layout. I'm going to skip because I don't want to. So here's where you would connect to a Wi-Fi network, guys. Keep in mind two things. If you want to sign in to your Microsoft account or if you want to create a Microsoft account, that's where you would choose a Wi-Fi network and then keep going. If you don't want to be forced into choosing a Microsoft account or creating one, you're going to hit a button down here. Uh, that will say continue without Wi-Fi. I don't have it because of the computer I'm working on, long story short. Uh, but you will have a button here that says continue without Wi-Fi or I don't have Wi-Fi or something like that down here. Um, I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi and I'm going to keep going. So to name my device, I'm just going to name it Dell. Again, this is a refurb uh, for sale. I'm just going to hit Dell and move on. So as you can see, the computer's restarting, and again, as mentioned before, it's a good thing my USB isn't in because it may access that and reinstall the operating system now. So again, just a good reminder to make sure the USB's out. All right, so here you are, like I said, sign in with a Microsoft account, and there's no option to skip it. It's very hard to skip this process. So if you don't want to do this, then select that option for no Wi-Fi and continue the install without it. But I'm going to have to hit sign in. I'll put in my, my email account. This option box, you can just hit next. It's going to restore some options. Here again guys, your options may differ from mine. I'm going to go through all this and turn them all off. I don't like giving people free data. Um, there's no harm in keeping these on yes, I'm just weird and I don't like doing it. So um, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to turn them all off and hit accept. And then I'm, I'm just going to skip this whole customizing thing. I don't really care about that. Again, it's a refurb. So, All right, skipping this too. Not a personal computer, so I don't care about a whole lot of this, but you guys may want to uh, customize this stuff and, and get it set up for you. Uh, free Microsoft 365 account, decline. You can accept it if you want. OneDrive storage, decline. You can accept it if you want. Uh, skip for now. Right, so there you are at your Windows 11 desktop. So now that you've successfully installed Windows 11, you probably want to go through and install all the system updates, uh, operating updates, security updates, driver updates. You want to get all those in, um, updates installed. Uh, there'll be a video link below in the description on how to fully process your updates. Also, if you guys in, uh, put in all that information, your Microsoft ID, your PIN number, if you didn't want that in there, if you want to remove that Microsoft ID from your computer, there'll be a video link below in the description also showing you how to do that. So I hope this helped you guys out. I hope it was straightforward how to install Windows 11 onto a Dell. Any questions or comments, check out the FAQs below in the description. If you don't see it there, uh, leave me a comment. I always try to get back to you guys a couple times a day at least. Like, share, and subscribe if that was helpful. And as promised in the beginning of the video, some more information on my sponsor, NiceHash. 
So as stated before, NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. Again, what that means for you is you can take your computer's unused power and you can rent it out to people online mining cryptocurrencies and they pay you for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to earn some money on the side with no work. It's a great way to start investigating the world of crypto with no real investment. You already own the computer. Uh, you're already paying the electricity. It's not like you're buying a whole rig for this. It's a great thing to do. Uh, you can use their easy mining tool to just mine for a little while yourself. Or again, as stated, you can rent out your power to others um, and get paid for that in Bitcoin. So you can check out this link for more information. Feel free to leave me a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you guys on my next video.